Is there friction between Chris Hemsworth and Brie Larson, you know, leading up to Avengers Endgame? You may have seen that, like, online with articles and people saying stuff on Twitter that there is. And I've seen that, too, and watched some of those interviews, those interview clips. And I'm not really sure there is. I think that it's playful, you know, just bantering back between them. And, you know, that's either natural from them or it's like Marvel telling them to act like that to hype up publicity for the movie because I don't think it's any coincidence that Chris Hemsworth and Brie Larson seem to have, or she seems to be clapping back at him. And they're also the same two characters who seem to have that standoff, standoff Thor and Captain Marvel in one of those in-game trailers. And they're the two most powerful Avengers. You know, Thor and Captain Marvel are like gods compared to most of the other Avengers. So I think that, you know, this could be an orchestrated like PR move by Marvel or Disney to ramp up publicity. But first, let's watch some of those videos. First, one of the things, well, I guess the genesis of all of it is that clap back that Brie Larson had towards Chris Hemsworth when they were talking about doing their own stunts. Let's watch it here. See, I do all my stunts. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> she's getting like kind of flack from a lot of people because you know she seems like you know overly defensive and combative and i think she might have but in the context when i watched the whole interview i don't really see her as being that i don't think she's being like that confrontational or combative not in a serious way not given what they were talking about and plus like i was saying i wouldn't be surprised if this is all purposely calculated someone did say you know why would marvel purposely make brie larson seem unlikable here but i don't know i think that I don't know. I don't think that this is real, is what I'm saying. And Chris Hemsworth did say, like, in another interview, that was Entertainment Tonight interview that I watched, and another one just now, that I played just now. And then earlier, he was, there was an, there was an E, sorry, there was an E! News video where he says that his kid's favorite video uh, hero is Wonder Woman <laughs> while Brie Larson was sitting there. Let's see that. Do you ever ask them, like, who's your favorite superhero? Is it me, or is it, like... That's just yeah, asking no, uh, to yeah, be hurt. It's, it's wonderful. That's just asking it's, it's for wonderful. pain. Oh, really? Yeah, and they haven't cool. seen your film yet, so maybe yours. But both my boys oh, they, um, they got good have Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman costumes. <laughs> it's so good. I was like, what about Thor? They're like, they, so they, wear, they wear the Wonder Woman costume, or one of them in particular, with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that's so like, good. Oh, this that's is cool. for you, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right, here you go, Dad. Here's your hammer. Yeah, some people are saying that he was like maybe trying to punk her or something, but I don't know. I mean... I think he's just answering the question naturally because Chris Hemsworth has said before previously or before this like in year like around when Wonder Woman came out that his kids liked Wonder Woman so you know I think that's the same so you know I don't really think that there is any friction or there's any kind of like tension between Chris Hemsworth and Brie Larson maybe there is but I think it could easily just be them being silly playing around or if it's being or or it also being orchestrated by you know Marvel I think it's anything that's like playful jest or ribbing between the two of them, at most. I don't think it's serious. I think I read somewhere someone said that Chris Hemsworth unfollowed Brie Larson on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. That's a rumor. I haven't, I haven't, I, I haven't gone through to verify that or anything, but it doesn't matter. Because, you know, I don't think that the two of them, based on this, I don't think that there's any kind of problem between the two of them. There could be. I mean, I don't work there. I don't know them. But, you know, I think it's being blown... You know, the whole Chris Hemsworth versus Brie Larson thing is being blown out of proportion. And it could be exactly what Marvel wants right now. Because what's it getting everyone talking about? What's the deeper kind of thing? You know, these are two people who are going to be in Avengers Endgame. What could possibly be the biggest movie of all time. It's certainly going to be the biggest movie of all year. So, you know, any like manufactured or believed tension between two of its stars, who are also might have tension in the actual movie as their characters helps ramp up that, you know, publicity or that hype, that buzz. It's one of the reasons why I think that if this is, that, that I think this could all be manufactured. The studio could be telling them, yeah, you know, play around or act like you don't like each other or whatever. You know, people will eat that up and run with it. And that's exactly what's happened. So, you know, what do you think? What do you think about the supposed Chris Hemsworth versus Brie Larson, you know, hoopla that's erupted? Well, not erupted, but that's creeped up online recently. I'm thinking it's much ado about probably nothing and that it could be, you know, calculated. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.